Hi. Now, in this video, what I want to do is introduce you to four integrals that revolve around hyperbolic functions. And as this series progresses, we'll be looking at particular types of integrals. There'll also be a couple of very quick short examples at the end of this video, which I would encourage you to have a go at. Now, what I'm going to look at is, first of all, the differential, though, of cosh x. You should be familiar with these differentials that I'm going to bring up here. If not, do check out the links in the description below. They'll take you to the videos on that. OK, so if you've watched those videos, the differential of cosh x, remember what it was? Well, it was shine x. OK, shine x. So that means that if we have to integrate shine x with respect to x, that integral's got to be cosh x plus that constant of integration c. Here's another one just to test you. The differential of shine x. Can you remember what that was if you watched the earlier videos? Well, it was cosh x. So obviously that's going to mean that if we have to integrate cosh x with respect to x, it's going to be shine x plus a constant of integration. Now, when we come to this one here, can you remember what the differential of r shine x was? The inverse of shine x. Again, do check out the description for video tutorials on this if you're unsure. But we found out that it was 1 over the square root of 1 plus x squared, or obviously the root of x squared plus 1. It doesn't matter. So if we have to integrate that, then the integral of 1 over the root of 1 plus x squared, or the root of x squared plus 1, with respect to x, is going to be r shine x, plus that constant of integration c. And one more, OK, we discussed when we were looking at the differential of inverse hyperbolic functions, we discussed the differential of r cosh x, OK? Can you remember what that was? Well, it was this result. It was 1 over the root of x squared minus 1. And x had to be greater than 1, OK? So when it comes to integrating 1 over the root of x squared minus 1, then it's going to be r cosh x, OK? Plus that constant of integration. And it's defined only if x is greater than 1. So we're going to look at these results here. As I said at the beginning of the video, got a couple of questions for you that should be fairly straightforward just using these results, OK? But in later videos in this series, I'll be taking particular integrals that work with, say, integration by parts, substitution, and so on, OK, that you might like to try. So here's a couple of questions for you. All right, we've got the integral of shine of all of 2x minus 3 with respect to x, and the integral of 3x minus 4 all over the root of x squared minus 1 with respect to x. So if you'd like to have a go at these, just give you a short while to pause the video. When you come back, do fast forward if you want to check your answers quickly. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Don't forget you can fast forward just to check your answer. When it comes to the integral of shine of 2x minus 3, we're going to work off our result up here. Only difference is that in place of x, we've got this linear function here, 2x minus 3. But we should be familiar with handling that kind of thing by using the inverse of the chain rule. Your answer should be 1 half of cosh of all of 2x minus 3 plus c, OK? So if you differentiated this with the chain rule, you'd let t, for instance, be the 2x minus 3. And so when you come to differentiating 2x minus 3, you'd end up with a 2. Then we can cancel that out with the half, all right? So I'm assuming that you're familiar with that idea of the inverse of the chain rule. 
Okay, now when it comes to part B, what I'm going to do here is split this up into two terms. We've got the integral of 3x all over the root of x squared minus 1, minus 4 all over root of x squared minus 1. And I'm going to bring the root of x squared minus 1 up to the top for the first term, okay? So if we rewrite that, you're going to get this result here, okay? Now, we can see that this last term here is going to be fairly straightforward. It's just going to be this result here, only it's going to be 4r cosh x, okay? When it comes to this integral here, this is a special one, should be familiar with it. Notice it's got this special form where if f of x was x squared minus 1, we notice that by differentiating that, which should get 2x, okay, you've got basically a multiple of that at the front here. It's not 2x, but 3x. That particular form, I'll give you an indication here, kf dash x of all of fx to the power n integrates with respect to x gives us this result here. f of x is x squared minus 1, the power n is minus a half, and k would be 3 over 2. And so reversing this, the inverse of the chain rule basically, what we're going to get is this result then, okay? 3 lots of x squared minus 1 to the power half minus 4r cosh x plus the constant of integration c. Okay, well I hope you found that useful. This is just the start though of the series of videos that I'm going to be doing. We're going to be looking at a lot more examples on integrating functions that revolve around hyperbolic functions. Okay, so uh, hopefully you'll take a look at those. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.